Oh, back from another good nightmare dungeon farming session. And I've got to go back to my stash so I can put away yet another unique that I found. Oh, there's just so many of them. I'm, I don't know where to put them at this point. Don't you guys relate? No? Would you like to? Hello, my uh, fellow dwellers of Sanctuary! Welcome! For today, we are going to talk about something that's rather useful. And the reason I'm going to talk about it is I have found, to uh, this point in Season 1, five copies of Raiment of the Infinite. And whenever I bring that up in build guides and such, there's always a flood of comments being like, seriously? I'm like level 80, 90 already, and I've not seen a single one. What the hell? And I always look at them and go, well, that's really unlucky. I wish there was a way I could help. And then I remembered there is a way that I could help. Because I have found a lot of copies of a lot of uniques. And I really like to keep them all because I think it's fun to just have a stash tab full of them. But that also seems like a poor use of space. I've had four Staff of Endless Rage. I've had two Lamb Eason. I've had three Ice Heart Briars. I've had two Escadoras. And as I said, five Raiments of the Infinite. And it just kind of keeps happening. Still no Frostburn Gloves, which I really do want. Though I did get a Fist of Fate, so that's nice. And you may be sat there going, okay, this is great. I'm happy for you. Can you get to the point? And to that I say, yeah, I, I will. I'll get to the point. I'm sorry. So, of course, Helltides used to, or by used to, for a little bit, were able to target farm uniques by simply opening the chest that had the correct type of item that you wanted a unique in that slot. So it was more likely to be the unique you were after. That got taken away, which is still a shame that that required to happen instead of them just fixing the issues. But let's not dwell on that. And thus you might think that we end up in a situation where it's not possible to target farm uniques. You just kind of have to go around and hope for the best when one drops. And that's not exactly true. A while back I made a dedicated video on target farming legendary aspects. It'd be quite useful for a lot of people. But the thing is, and something to reiterate, uh, that the general strategies there do work for, well, uniques. Now a lot of that strategy was focused on the Obel Vendor and uh, particular ways of min-maxing gambling. The example I gave was, as the data shows, to get, for example, Binding Flame, I am best rolling boots. And the first one I bought got boots, which still tickles me to this day. But you can't get uniques from gambling, so we have to move on from that. But fear not, for there is still a way to get those uniques. As I'm sure you're aware, and if you're not, you're about to be, every enemy in the game has a bias towards dropping certain types of loot. A five times higher bias. So it would follow then that if you need a unique, let's say you want Frostburn like I do, okay, what drops gloves? Well, spiders, they have the highest chance to drop gloves. So I want to go kill spiders en masse because they're more likely to drop gloves, which means there is more rolls at each glove that pops out of their little squishy bodies to be a unique and therefore be Frostburn. Yes, it might be my class one, it might be Fists of Fate, but it's still the most likely scenario. So I could spend all day in something like Sarat's Lair farming spiders and I would get a glove unique faster than someone who's just randomly killing. Obviously, you can have outliers, but on average, that is the case. So if you know where every type of item drops from on an increased chance, depending on the type of enemy, you can target farm that type of enemy to, by extension, target farm the unique that you need. Now, we do have a video going over every single enemy type and what they are biased towards dropping, and I will make sure that's linked down below so you can check for yourself. But I can help you even beyond that by pointing you in the direction of a very helpful tool that has been designed and is definitely something that needs more attention because it's fantastically useful specifically for this. But before we go into that, there is another layer to it. Nightmare Dungeons. See, in Nightmare Dungeons, the higher tier you do, the more likely loot that drops is to be ancestral instead 
of sacred. Why does that matter? Well, a unique in World Tier 4 can only be ancestral. So if you're needing those unique gloves, and you're killing spiders, and you're doing it in a high tier nightmare dungeon with spiders, you have the highest chance for a glove to drop, and the highest chance for that glove to be ancestral, therefore the highest chance for it to roll unique. So currently, the two big spider nightmare dungeon keys are Sarat Slayer and Pallid Dive. So if you're generally farming for gear, but want that particular unique, like Frostburn, well, you want to go through all of your nightmare sigils and oh look I've got a Serat Slayer so this right here is the place I am going to most likely find the unique I'm after and that might sound straightforward and it kind of is but at the same time it's the reason why I have found so many uniques by targeting them in this manner and I have enough people asking me how I found so many that I felt that I should you know reiterate this point and make this video updated for season one and and yes, technically this works for the uber uniques too, but five times increasing your chance for them to drop takes it from almost impossible to happen to almost kinda impossible to happen, so maybe don't try it for that. And hey, at the end of this one, I did indeed get a unique on just my second dungeon while doing some general dungeoning for this video to put in the background and show you guys it in practice. Granted it's boots and granted it's at the end, but you know, it's still nice that it happened. And yes, in Nightmare Dungeons, obviously, you get the four extra rolls at the end, two of which can be legendary, which means two of which can be unique, which again makes it the highest chance. And once patch 1.1.1 happens, final bosses will guarantee drop a legendary, which means a guaranteed chance at that being a unique too. So that's nice as well. So bottom line, a Nightmare Sigil as highest tier as you can get in the dungeon that is the densest with the type of enemy you need is your path to mash uniques. So this is the tool itself then. As you can see, every unique is represented here and it gives you all the information that you could need. It is by Diablo4.life and it very much deserves more attention being put towards it as it's incredibly helpful. So, let's say that yes, I want to Frostburn, well, we just select it, have a little bit of scroll down, and oh, look, Serrat Slayer and Pallid Delve, dense with spiders, both Nightmare Sigils, this is what I am after. Easy peasy. Let's uh, say you are also on a Druid and you want that Tempest Raw, well, we have a little look at that, and here, okay, so we have also Pallid Delve and uh, Channel House, they're the Sigils. So you can could actually double up on Pallid Delve and have a high chance to both get Frostburn and Tempest Raw, at least relative to anywhere else. And then we undo that, and instead let's go over to Sorcerer, we want Raiment of the Infinite. Well, here, Ulder's Cave, Mercy's Reach, and Tomb of the Saints is the way, and indeed that is the way, that is where I first got my initial Raiment, because I focused on them, because it had the highest chance of dropping me it. And so on and so forth then, as you uh, go through the uniques and filter it by what you actually need, and you'll get the perfect and most efficient place to go farm it in the highest nightmare key you can, and job is a good un. So I hope this was all kind of helpful. I realize, again, very straightforward, but I think it's something that needs more spreading and more general knowledge, because it will help a lot of you that are struggling to get those key uniques that is holding back your ideal perfect build. For now then, I hope you enjoyed this. Like if you did, subscribe and hit the bell for more. Consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below, and until we meet again, I want every single unique, please. God, give me them all. Where do I get them all from? I don't know what I'm doing. Goodbye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye